All right, welcome to part two. Got the strings off. I just took those volume knobs off. And these are solid brass knobs. They're heavy. And a magnet does not stick to them. So that tells me they are solid brass. You need a two millimeter Allen wrench to uh, take these off in here. Yeah, those came off easily. This thing just pops right off. It's a little gritty and stuck. Oh, it's all open underneath. Huh. Different. Anyway, not much weight to that. And it looks like it's unbranded. And this thing pops right off. Oh. I don't know if you can see that. It says WA Bridge and it says Made in Japan. Wow, look at the corrosion on that. I don't know if we can save this. I might just try to swap it out with another tunematic bridge or something, but we'll try and clean it up. See, see what, what gives. Definitely want to save these brass saddles though. Those are cool, man. All right, so I'm just going to keep ripping this apart, and if I see something interesting, I'll uh, come back. All right, so this is what's in for a switch. It's a it's a big one. <laughs> Great big switch. Too bad that thing is snapped right off. I don't know if I can just put a regular you know, Gibson toggle in there. It might fit. Should be all right. Anyway, nice clean soldering job. No real problems there. And check this out. Huge volume pots, man. These things are big. They're like a dual stage pot. It comes in a big like control plate. So all three pots are like grounded together. So here are the pickups, I guess. These are the two pickup wires coming in there. Uh, here's that little switch for the how to phase stuff. And there's a big plate underneath, right, to kind of connect all these together. So I guess they're all like grounded together. And then this thing, this jack, the ground is broken off of it. So that's why that doesn't work. I had a wicked buzz. I must have snapped it off too while I was playing with it. And this looks like a grounding wire to the bridge. So again, Kind of nice soldering job. Look, nothing's like tarnished in there. It's all pretty good. These are huge, man. So, yeah, I guess I'm just going to take this out and go over everything. So that's a 500k pot. It's a 500k pot. This is a B. This is... I don't know if that's a B or an A, but it must... This one must be a B as well. Same pot as this one. And this. I'm 523k. Hmm. Oh. Anyway. Yeah, pretty simple. Uh, look like, these look like four wire pickups. So, I don't know if they're all connected here, but they're not push-pull pot so I don't know anyway we shall see I don't know why these are stacked like that take a closer look at that see what I can figure out I had to drill out this output jack <laughs> it was rusted on so <laughs> it's in the bottom there Man, oh man, what a pain in the butt to try and get that off. So here's that plate. Yeah, a big uh, double whoppers there. Look at that. <laughs> they're not push-pull pots, so I don't know why they're stacked like that. I'm not sure what's going on. I'm not big on electronics anyway, but... I'll figure it out. And 
This is shielding paint. Just touch this here anywhere. Oh, look at that. Okay. Here, let me if I can get you a better angle. Yep. So yeah, so we got shielding paint. So it's pretty cool. No shielding paint. And then we got this big uh this big plate where all the pots mount to, and this slides right into the the cavity here. And so they're all kind of interconnected together. It's uh it's pretty neat. Anyway, I'm gonna clean those up, spray those connections with contact cleaner, and just go from there, I guess. Alright, guys. I'll show you what I'm doing in a sec. So this is the underside of these pickups. Um, it says MMK on them. Probably like Matsumoko or whatever, whoever builds these. Number 53, that must be the type of pickup. And same one here, MMK 53. So it looks like they have identical pickups in the bridge and the neck. Um, I just uh, cleaned up the electronics and I put everything back in place. Um, the pots or the volume knobs, I got I got the green off of them, but I don't know how I'm going to polish them yet. I'll try to get a shine to them. The nut worked great. I used a buffing wheel on the nut and look how shiny that thing came out. It's great. <laughs> so I had to level the frets because there are some wicked grooves war into a lot of them and there was some wicked unlevel frets in this thing so they're all filed down they're all level so i just marked them again and i started crowning the first one so you can see how the first one has a real thin marker line on it so um and yeah these scratches were there before i didn't do that so anyway um I'm and you guys are probably saying holy smokes you didn't tape up your fretboard no this fretboard's a mess so I'm gonna once I d I'm done crowning these I'm going to use you know some 400 grit sandpaper and I'm just going to go back and forth on the neck uh, with a little foam sponge you know and kind of go back and forth and I'm going to do that right up to 4,000 grit and try to get some of these scratches off the fretboard before I uh, you know, clean it properly and condition it because it's in rough shape and we'll try to get it, you know, try to get this material nice. Uh, so yeah, so I'm going to keep crowning these frets and then I'll uh, show you what we're, where we're at. All right. Frets have all been leveled, crowned, polished, and they came out looking great. The only problem is there was a ton of string grooves and cuts in there and I was able to get rid of all of them except for this one. If I get rid of this one there'd be no frets left. It's pretty deep. Um, don't mind the griminess of the fretboard that's going to be clean in a minute. So the only issue is I had to take a lot of fret off in the leveling to get everything out, all the imperfections out. And uh, I don't know if there's going to be a whole lot of fret left, <laughs> like when you're actually playing. So if you like small frets, I guess this will be okay. But um, if someone likes, you know, medium jumbo or jumbo frets, this would really need a refret to be perfect. But then you're getting into four or $500, especially here in PEI anyway. And I'm not equipped to do that stuff. So anyway, we're going to uh, clean and condition our fretboard and move on to the electronics. All right, well, this fretboard is soaking in oil. I am just reassembling this bridge after I haven't taken it all apart and cleaning every individual piece. What a pain in the butt. <laughs> So to get the brass to shine, I'm actually using 4,000 grit sandpaper and polishing them with that because these pieces are too small 
like for polishing compound to work on. So yeah, they turned out pretty good. And these knobs, I got them all nice and shiny again. I used baking soda and vinegar, let them soak overnight. And then um, to use the toothbrush and brushed in some of the Simonize polishing compound. And then I rubbed them on this buffing pad and look at all the crap that came off of them. So yeah, it worked pretty good. So anyway, I'll be able to use the original equipment again. This, um, the chrome is peeling off on this. It's in pretty rough shape, but uh, you know what? It's a good piece and it'll be fine. It'll be original equipment. So anyway, it'll have to do. All right guys, so here's what we have so far. Tuners have all been snugged up. They were all loose, uh, as were the keys. But these tuners are great. No slop. Um, they seem pretty good. I'll give you a gear ratio in the final video. Um, brass nut has been polished. Frets have been leveled, crowned, and polished. Fretboard has been conditioned. Body, I did a polishing, but there's a lot of nicks and scratches in there. Reinstalled the pickups, gave the pickups a polishing as well. Got everything back together. It's as clean as it's gonna get. And got the brass knob shining. I still need a jack and I need a new switch. And then we can wire it up. So guys, that's gonna be the end of this video. And next video we'll fire it up and check out some real tones with some new strings and polished frets see what this baby can do right on take care guys god bless